Oriental medical science aims at healing the body by normalizing the cells, tissues, organs, and systemic functions to achieve optimum wellness and cure illnesses. Western medical professionals had recently recognized this as preventive science. The easiest way to achieve this homeostasis is by taking Ganoderma, which is a mushroom belonging to the family of Ganoderma tadzi. It is a mushroom which, despite being used in China for two and a half thousand years, until recently was only available for the highest class of society. Based on thousands of years of experience, it is known that its components normalize the physical processes, gear up toxin excretion, and supply the function of the body defense system. Ganoderma is used in clinical practice as component of medicines. Western medical science also took notice of its results in the treatment of illnesses due to growth of abnormal cells. Scientific researches prove the liver defender, antibacterial and antiviral effect of Ganoderma, but it has significant results in the regulation of blood pressure, blood sugar and fat in blood. But how can we manage to have Ganoderma as part of our everyday life? The success story of coffee began in the 15th century. From that time, coffee is known for its energizing, refreshing effect. After some decades, the coffee house culture spread and the rest is history. Based on further researches, we should look at coffee in a new approach. It turned out, due to its high content of natural antioxidant, coffee is not even unhealthy, but it has a positive effect on the body. Studies prove that the main reagent of coffee, caffeine, in some cases holds up abnormal cells growth, besides increases physical condition, gears up the effect of painkillers, and if consumed within reason, reduces the risk of many illnesses, among others, the risk of illnesses which are related to large bowel and liver.